Okay, so we're going to demonstrate the Duracell rechargeable and the power out rechargeable batteries with this flash. And then we have the power out AA batteries. They're also charged and ready to go. Okay, so we have the Duracell rechargeable batteries fully charged. The, the lighting up green, that means they're ready to go. And uh, let's uh, let's see where we're at. Use the tester just to see where the batteries are at. First, we're gonna try the Duracell battery. See where it's at. I, mean, I charged them completely. Okay, so you can see it's almost at 80, 85%. Okay, 1.3, that's for the Duracell battery. See where the power out battery stands. So see 1.39, 85, about the same. So let's, uh, first let's try the, of the Duracell. Then we're gonna put it in the flash and we're gonna take some samples and see how long it takes before. There's the flash, let's put it in. Okay, we're gonna turn it on. You know, I have to wait till it's fully lit up. Now this is for photography obviously, but this is the best way I can show how quickly the batteries were draining. So this is with the Duracell batteries. So we're gonna take a few pictures or a few, temp uh, see here we go, test this chart. Okay, so I'm gonna do this a few times and we'll see how many flashes I can take before the battery is completely drained and we'll be right back. Here are the results from using my photography flash, sun pack, the power hour and Duracell batteries. I used to use the tester to check after each session. So uh, I have my results. I'll show them to you right now and then we'll get some details. So ultimately the Duracell AA battery rechargeable, 93 flashes before I had to recharge. Uh, one thing to note, you do need to recharge them again. It's gonna take four to six hours to recharge the Duracell battery. So yeah, it was 93 flashes. I wasn't gonna sit on camera and and just keep flashing because it took a very long time, but this is uh, my result. Power Owl. Okay, this one, much better. This is um, my results for the Power Owl, 200 flashes. Okay, and roughly about the same time. So Power Owl battery, 200 flashes with the sun pack flash. And those are the results right there. Okay, we'll close it off and then what I would do is just turn it on and you can hear it as it's turning on and you're waiting for it. So the power off is still going so it can probably go for a little bit longer than 200 probably, you know. Um, so we'll wait, we'll wait for the, the red light. Then I would just do the flash just like that. And then it will start up again. So you can see it's just still going so it can probably go for longer than 200 flashes. Uh, let me shut it off that the Duracell battery rechargeable is 1300 milliamps and the power owl battery that I got states right there is 2800 milliamps so about half so yeah so this could probably this was 2800 milliamp but it could probably go almost about the same but that is the review of the batteries the rechargeable batteries this one you can connect right to the wall so that's a very nice thing you don't need an adapter you can just connect it directly to the wall pretty basic simple to use and you get four of these guys and the power owl the bay has eight and for for value you're getting eight but it's usb micro right there so that's my comprehensive review of these batteries and I used the DIY full battery tester to check them out after the session. Hope you found this useful. If you have any further questions, let me know. I'll be happy to help you. Right, see you in the next one. Bye.